I have had a request to show how I make homemade popcorn. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make healthy homemade popcorn. We're not going to need very many things. The only thing we're going to need is a pot. The older, the better. <laughs> I've used this forever and it's only for popcorn and it ends up getting pretty black because it gets really hot. Really old nasty pot. I use a couple of bowls. Um, you'll see how I use these later, but I usually have two. Popcorn, of course, Aldi, Walmart, cheap stuff, cheaper the better. Canola oil, the way that this is healthy is you want to pay attention to the, the, the oil that you use, no vegetable oil, none of the junk oils that are horrible. And we're not gonna use a ton, but we're gonna use canola oil. You can use different oils, but the oil does affect the taste. And then just sea salt. Any kind of sea salt will work. Pink salt, whatever you want to use. Do not use seasoned salt. Seasoned salt always has sugar in it. Just use regular sea salt. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a bottom layer of oil on the pan. You don't want too much. You just want enough that you cover the bottom. So you roll it around, you've got a covering. Then the next thing we do is we only want to take four or five kernels. Just four or five. Here's four, and we're gonna spread them out in the pan, all around the pan. This is your indicator on whether the pan is hot or not. And then we put it on the stove, and we're gonna turn that up as high as it can go. You're gonna put your lid on, and you're going to wait. You're gonna wait till those kernels pop. Once all four kernels, and you should count, four kernels have popped, you can take the lid off. But if you take the lid off when only one kernel has popped, you're gonna take that lid off, and it's gonna pop and the oil is gonna come right in your face. So you don't wanna do that. Once it's popped, once it's hot, we'll come back and we will add more kernels to the pot. That's two, that's three, and I think four as well. Yes, you can see all four kernels have popped. Now I'm going to take my popcorn and I'm going to cover the bottom. You don't want to do too much, but you want to cover the bottom. You want to do like if I could say one and a half layers of popcorn in the, in the, in the pot and make sure that every single one is covered with oil. I'm going to put it uh, back on the stove and it's gonna be hot, so I usually use a hot pad or a towel on top. I'm gonna to put it back on the stove until you start hearing uh, the popcorn pop. Then we have to keep the pot moving so the pot does not burn the popcorn or else you'll end up with black kernels. I'll show you what that looks like when it starts popping. So you can hear it's popping, so you just don't wanna keep it still. So I usually just shake it and keep it over the heat. It's gonna be fine. Even on my electric stove, it works just great. You can use any kind of stove uh, to do this. So we're gonna let it pop until the lid starts to rise off of the pot. And then we're gonna dump half of it, and then we're gonna continue to uh, to cook the uncooked kernels. So there, you can see the the lid is rising. And you just want to go until, you know, you almost hear no kernels being popped. If you continually move it, you're not going to burn the popcorn, so you're good. So there, about no kernels are popping. There's only a few every once in a while. It's pretty much all popped. I can dump it. If there's too much overflow, that's why I have the second, the second, uh, the second bowl. Inevitably, they're still gonna pop outside here. You don't have to worry about getting any oil in your face or anything like that, it's not gonna matter. And you're good to go, you have one batch. You can continually cook more, you can cook more uh, 
as much as you want. You might want to make sure you turn your stove off as well so that you don't burn anything. Put your pot back on. But that's why I use a nasty pot because that pot gets super hot. You always turn your stove up to the highest it can go. Uh, I know a lot of people that use a whirly popper, or I think that's called a whirly popper, where it's got that spinning mechanism. I'm a little old-fashioned. I just have an old, uh, cheap pot that was handed down to me from my mom to make popcorn, and it's easy, and that pot was free, and that's it. That's how you do it. So you take your salt, too, and you just want to sprinkle your salt on, and you toss it. Sprinkle a little bit more. And you toss it, and you just try it. And it's really good. Then you t you put as much salt as you want, but that's it. That is how to make healthy homemade popcorn.